good morning. Sun is shining. And we're back. Hope you are all doing well. And thriving. Uh, I'm going to have to make this one. Oh, no, is that hard? No, never. Busy, busy. With lots of different things right now. So, getting... And I know some people have been commenting on the fact that they would like to see me working on the various things that I do. But, in all honesty, it's nigh on impossibility for me to concentrate on it all now. Um, I can't multitask to the same extent. I don't think I ever could actually. I'm only at some point, but not, not a lot. But, uh, so apologies for help. The best I can do is actually show you what I've been doing. Um, and hope if it's of interest or not. <coughs> but over the past couple of weeks, I have been putting together, I'll let you see them, a brace of salmon priests. Um, these are both, there are two here, I'll show you the, the other one just now. These are, this is a bit of royal antler, uh, which would be a 14 pointer one time. His antler, it's really old, old antler. I've had it for a long, long time. And it's just lay in the box beside all. I've used all the other stuff, and uh, but that's one of them. Um, and I've got uh, quite a nice process. It's a process of going through all. And the other one's just slightly different. Fair weight. They're, these are for salmon. These are salmon priests. Um, uh, you bring these out of the bag to impress, uh, impress who you're fishing with when you're going to dispatch the fish. Uh, anyway, as you can see, it's a mixture of stag antler and the wood is on that, believe it or not, is a bit of turkey oak. There's a story behind that and I'll tell you, if I remember it, I'll tell you before we go. And, uh, but even the, the inserts through where the chain runs, um, carbon fibre bored out to uh, make sure that there's no water ingress to the, to the timber. And finish them off with a halfpenny and a penny. So it's a penny halfpenny, really. Uh, but uh, they're going away this weekend, so I said I better make a, a video and let you see. Uh, because I'm chuffed with them, but uh, and resin capped. They have about two and a half ounce, three ounces of uh, lead in the end. They don't, in all honesty, don't really need it, but uh, it's there and it, the balance, the weight is very, very good on them. Um, but the biggest problem I had when making them was to uh, stay back from them. Uh, with each individual thing that I did was to a bit time in between and not to try and chase things along which is always but when I was doing that anyway I decided to make up uh, just some ordinary um, trout priests fish priests uh, so I made these up um, it's you uh, and it's, it's the same it's got about two ounce uh, of lead in the end um, and it's just straightforward, bored out, capped off. They're, ca they're capped inside with uh, a polyprop cap glued in, and then a piece of hardwood uh, end cap on. You know, leather wrap, a bit of shrink wrap, and a leather. And so they're, they're very nice, but so I made up that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> half a dozen of them problematic, so <laughs> like, oh. Uh, this this little one I'll show you was a, a this is for a woman. This is a, a woman's. Uh, uh, well, we should be all by the same now. I don't really know, but anyway, it's it's a more feminine priest uh, and a bit decorative too. Um, so it's it's worked really nice. A bit of antler wood and uh, this, believe it or not, was something I saved off uh, a shoehorn. Um, it got many years ago, uh, and it's been lying in the drawer, so that actually worked really well. Uh, 
and the small ferrule that went with it. So I tend to keep a hold of all these things. I shouldn't really, but I do. It's an old habit because uh, there's use for it all, right? Uh, so that's what I've been busily doing, uh, working away with uh, these. <coughs> and I say, as I said, it's the problem is it's, it's a process. It's as I do one part of it, it's leaving it, giving it time to before you move on to the next part and get all in sequence. Of course, is the thing. Uh, but I'm, I'm extremely pleased uh, with the way they've turned out. The, the balance is good, uh, but it's the last of the antler. But I'm talking to somebody, talking to somebody the other day there. Um, he's got, uh, he come down from up north and he's got uh, a nice set there. He says that uh, he could be selling. So uh, he's had them all the time. So I shall go and have a, a look next week and uh, see whether the price is agreeable. It's all, it's all to do, do with the price. But. Uh, so that's us, we're, we've been juking about with that and one or two other things, uh, but these have been taking up quite a bit of my time and, and putting the finish on and, and getting it just, and numerous coats of varnish and rubbing down and all the things you do, uh, but um, they work well, so that's it. But the uh, snake's still been juking around, there's been one or two going out the door, bit by bit, uh -huh. uh, and uh, the story behind the, the turkey oak is, uh, when we built this workshop, I planted it outside, um, not long after we built it, it's going to be a, it's a long thing to grow, it takes a long time to grow. Um, and so, um, and it was a night of the tree. Uh, it would be a problem eventually, but not for me. And for somebody else, it would be a problem, but not for me. But la last year, uh, anyway, more than a year or so ago, I was uh, next door to the beer garden. And what comes through? Bind beat. Bloody everywhere. Right? And I normally go down there and pull it all out and it wraps itself around everything. But the other year that I went, because I'm not supple getting down about, I decided to buy Roundup, didn't I? Spray it, bloody kill it off, right, take it right back to the roots. And uh, I must have been spraying too close to it. And, uh, there must be a bit of overspray that caught a leaf. And that autumn, it was close to autumn when I was doing it, so the, the tree lost its leaves really quickly and I went, I, I was trying to convince myself that, oh, that's just that's the end of the, the season, but it really wasn't. And I did know in my mind that it wasn't. Uh, so I killed it. But it lives, and it lives in, in this. Uh, and uh, when I was making these up, uh, it was just perfect size. I'd, same again, I'd cut the tree down, uh, and but I'd saved part of it because uh, it's lovely, it's a lovely bit of wood, um, and it was stand, it's been standing dead for a while. I've been waiting on it springing back into life, but it wasn't going to do that. And so uh, it's ended up in these salmon priests. Um, uh, so there you are, Ryan. Anyway, I hope that's of interest. There's just a quick one to pop in. I've got somebody coming just shortly to uh, see me, so I thought I'd slot this in. And uh, as I say, apologies for not working through it, but I don't think it would work terribly well now. I don't think it ever really worked terribly well because the uh, thing would, but as I say, hope you're all well, everyone's doing good, uh, and hope that was of interest. Catch you again. Bye.